guys! So this video is going to be a haul of things over the past two weeks. Um, and basically these are things that I've gotten from Ulta. Uh, what else? I've gotten them from Sephora. Only a few things from Sephora. Two things from Avon. And maybe a few other things. Basically they're just all in this little Ulta bag. Because Ulta is where I bought most of the stuff at. Because there was that 20% off coupon on both drugstore and prestige brands. Most of the time when Ulta comes out with discount coupons, it's mainly just for the drugstore brands. But this time there was a one-time use only 20% off coupon for all of the prestige brands as well, which is awesome and you definitely want to take advantage of that when you can. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with anything that I find and I'll tell you where I got it at. This is the Bosha. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I know some people have pronounced it Boschia, but I think it's Bosha. Anyway, this is the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. It comes in a box like this. You can't really tell it's because it's getting washed out. And it says for all skin types, and basically it's just a cleanser that also breaks down your makeup and removes it. It's five ounces, and if I'm not mistaken, it was $28 before tax. So this is what it looks like. It's like a little pump, and I have already used this quite a few times to take off my makeup. I mentioned in one of my empties videos that once I was completely done using up all of my simple Sensitive Skin Experts cleansing wipes and my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes, I was going to stop using makeup wipes in general because they agitate my skin too much. And a lot of people say your eye area is too delicate to just put up with all that rubbing. It comes with this little protective thing that way you can't push down on it and it doesn't dispense product. It comes out like a clear liquid but I'm not going to dispense any because I don't want to take off my makeup and waste it. But like I said I've used it quite a few times and I love this stuff so far. I've used it maybe four or five times to take off my makeup. Um, most of the time it's just eye makeup but there was one time that I used a whole full face of makeup. By the way I'm wearing foundation today and I don't know if you'll be able to tell but it's a first for me, it really is. This is a very slick kind of feeling, but it works so well at breaking down your makeup. I got that at Sephora. And then the other item that I got at Sephora is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mini Palette. Basically, I was looking into getting the full size um, of this palette, but it's around like $49 or $59, and I don't know, because I heard mixed reviews on it, I wasn't willing to shell out that much money, but because I saw a mini palette, this was $20 at Sephora, but when I looked on Ulta, it said it was $22, so if you're looking at getting this from either Sephora or Ulta, get it from Sephora because it's $2 cheaper. I'm holding it upside down because it does come with a mirror, so I'm covering that, but the four shimmer shades are up top and the four matte shades are on the bottom. I did film two videos within the time that I was gone, but I wasn't able to upload them because my computer sucks. So uh, one of the videos actually involved using these two colors on the end right here for a look that I did when I went to the Renaissance Fair with my boyfriend. I actually swatched the tester palette that they had out um, of this in Sephora, and by the swatches I knew that I really wanted to get it. And these are definitely colors that I will use, so that's why I picked this up. My mom placed an order at Avon, and she asked me if I want anything, so I just got two things. The first thing is the thing that I was most excited about. This is the Avon Skin So Soft, which, if you've never tried Skin So Soft by Avon, it's actually really not that bad. I also tried their footwork stuff, and their footwork stuff is really nice to give yourself, like, an at-home pedicure. But I was just browsing through the catalog, and I saw the Avon Skin So Soft Aqua Express and Mint or water mint body milk spray. It comes with 8.4 fluid ounces and I believe it was around $8. This refreshing body milk with water mint oil, shea butter, and vitamin E locks in moisture to indulgently smooth and softer skin. Soften skin. Suitable for daily use, dermatologist tested. Basically you just press firmly on the thing to spray all over your body and then you moist you rub it in like a regular moisturizer. Like I said in my last empties video, if you saw that, I said I was trying to use up a lot of my moisturizers and I am. I'm actually almost done with a previous Avon uh, body lotion that I bought. But this is it's a body milk and I've never tried a body milk before so I figured I might as well give it a shot. And then the other product that I got from Avon is a Glimmer Sticks lip liner. I've never tried any of these before. I don't know how well they work. This is Glimmer Sticks lip liner in the color nude. It's really hard Hard to choose colors from the Avon catalogs because you don't know if the color is off or how pigmented it is. It's not like a Sephora where you can just go in and test things out and see for yourself if you like it or not. Uh, so anyways, I did try it once and I'm going to be honest and say that the color itself I didn't really care for. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a pinky nude than a peachy nude, which is what sucks about seeing like digital colors 
on the catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. A lot of people like these types of colors. I don't know. They're just not for me. As it is, I'm still trying to branch out into nudes. So peachy brown nudes, I'm just not really into. There's only one lipstick out of my whole lipstick collection that I found that works well with this and that is the Milani Nude Cream because it is more of a peachy brown lipstick. But yeah, I just bought this just to see what, you know, what it would do. Nothing special. At CVS about a week ago, uh, I went in there one night just to see what else was new and I happened to come across the Maybelline The Smokes palette. I don't know if anybody else has heard of this palette or if anybody else has tried this palette, but I was really excited to see it on the display and, uh, and it wasn't even on a new display, it was kind of just sitting in with the rest of the Maybelline stuff, but this is the first time I've ever seen this, so I don't know if this is new or not, uh, but anyways, I just wanted to mention it because it is new to me. Uh, I am wearing it on my eyes right now. I did film a video on this look and I also just finished filming a uh, video on my first impression first impressions on my first impressions or initial thoughts of this and also the swatches of all these colors with and without primer. So there are going to be quite a few videos uh, that you'll see me pretty much in the same kind of get up. This is the first chance that I've gotten in a long time to be able to film so I'm trying to film multiple multiple videos at once. But anyways I got this at my local CVS for I think around $11.99. Okay and the rest of this stuff is what I bought at Ulta. Like I said they had a 20% off coupon for prestige brands and drugstore brands so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing is something that's been on like my loves list at Sephora for a really long time now and I didn't even know they carried this brand at Ulta but when I was walking through their skincare section which I rarely ever go through their skincare section at Ulta um, I was like you know what I've been meaning to get this anyway and since I've got a coupon might as well this is from the brand Bliss which I've absolutely never tried anything else from this brand but it's something that Casey Holmes mentioned in one of her favorites videos months ago and it's called the fuzz off and basically it's to be used for facial hair um, not that I have much facial hair to remove but like sometimes I'll get like some really bad peach fuzz I guess around my lip area I don't go to get my lips waxed because I feel like that's a waste of money I mean honestly I really don't care that much but when she mentioned that this works pretty well and it's something that you can do at home and you don't have to go out of your way to get someone else to do uh, or remove that hair for you I figured why not it comes with half an ounce it says it's super fast freshly scented facial hair removal cream um, and I haven't even tried this. I've seen two reviews of it so far, and that's pretty much it. I believe this was $24, but that's before the discount was applied. Ardell lashes were buy one, get one 50% off, and I'm not huge into false lashes, but I have been really obsessed with, like, trying to wear them and stuff like that, especially since Halloween is around. I kind of use that as my excuse. Uh, so the first pair that I got is the Ardell Edgy. Uh, and this is the number 406 in black, and I don't know, I just thought they were really cute. And I don't know, like I don't know what compelled me to really buy them. First of all, I know that they're cheap, maybe that's why. So I feel like Ardell would be a really nice brand to start off with when you're trying to get into wearing false lashes because they aren't very expensive. And then the other ones that I got um, had my favorite color in them, so I thought they were really cool. These are the Ardell Color Impact um, eyelashes. These are the Demi Wispies. I'm sure that these are the ones that everybody talks about. But these are in the Color Impact ones, so they've got like little purple lashes in there with them and it says that these ones enhance brown hazel and green eyes because it's got like the purple lashes in them and obviously I have brown eyes so here's to hoping that they look really pretty but that yeah these say the demi wispies in plum for the color impact so this next product was what I kind of splurged on this is um one of the it cosmetic brushes for Ulta and at first I was looking at just their regular collection I wasn't looking at the velvet luxe collection which is one of the brushes that I ended up getting I was just feeling through all of these and I was like, oh my goodness, they're so soft. Even the ones um, that weren't in the Velvet Luxe collection were very soft. But when you felt the ones from, I think it was called like the Airbrush collection, and you felt the ones from the Velvet Luxe collection, you could feel a difference. You could feel how much softer these ones were as compared to the other ones. And also the handle is really nice and pretty. This is called the Flawless Face Brush. And as you can see, it's like at an angle. And uh, it says that this is really good for applying foundation or just a complexion brush. It says it's the Velvet Luxe Blurring Collection. And it comes in like a velvet pouch. It says it's your beauty BFF brush for your favorite liquid powder and cream foundations. Custom designed, hand cut shaped, 100% cruelty free, synthetic, micro fine optical blurring brush hair. Custom molded, soft touch grip for maximum control. It is a really soft handle. 
um, dense angled brush head designed for coverage and precision. It is to use small circular motions or gently sweep to apply and blend. For more exclusive videos on these brushes, go to ulta.com slash it brushes for Ulta. I think it's really cool that they have such a wide array of brushes for every wash. Again, I don't really wear foundations, but honestly I could find any use for this anyway, like BB creams or something like that. Uh, and since I had the 20% off this, this brush, I hate to say it, but was $38. $38 for a brush is a lot of money, I know. Um, and the only other brush that I have that's close to being that expensive um, is another IT Cosmetics brush. These IT Cosmetics brushes are really, really expensive, but this is the IT Cosmetics uh, just regular type of brush. I don't even know what this is called, but I think it's just like a flat top kabuki. So this is the only other brush that I have in my collection that's similar to that kind of price range. But yeah, this is $38 and it, it is, oh, it's so soft. I just don't even want to use it. I just want to pet it because it feels like a bunny number 311 I don't know if that says anything and this is what the full brush looks like in my hand so yeah I'm really excited to use this brush so I mentioned earlier in the video that I am wearing a new foundation and this foundation is actually a drugstore foundation now I actually consulted one of the girls who worked there uh, her name is Michelle she's very sweet and she was very helpful and um, basically she was just applying different higher-end foundations on me and <laughs> It sucked because all of the fairer foundations that she was putting on me were too orange, too dark. It was it was really sad because I didn't think I was that fair skin. Like I knew I had light skin, but I didn't know I was that light skin. For examples, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream or something like that, she said she really liked. Um, so she put the fairest color on me. And uh, that fair color, I looked in the mirror, was like three shades darker than my skin tone. Anyway, so the drugstore foundation that um, I did find and I actually ended up buying was the Revlon Color Stay Makeup, wait, it's just, it's just foundation, Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Anyway, it looks like this. And the shade that I got it in is the lightest shade, number 110 Ivory, and I'm wearing that on my face today which I think is a very, very, very close match. The closest match that I've been able to find. At first, I was like, are you sure? It's going to be, like, way too light for me. But I don't know. When you look at my skin in real life, it, it matches really, really well. I've been using the It Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki Brush to apply this, and that's what I did today, and I really like it. I didn't want to buy this foundation at Ulta until I knew it matched me. So I had to buy it and then her put it on me. And if I didn't like it, I could just return it that same like day. Uh, like after she put it on me, if it didn't work out, then I could just be like, okay, I'd like to return this. Well, the Revlon Color State Foundation at Ulta was on sale for $9.99. And Ulta usually has like a $3.50 off coupon on a $10 or more purchase of their drugstore type items. But technically, because it wasn't $10 before tax, they couldn't apply the discount. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just pay for it anyway. And the lady was like, well, we have a Nivea hand cream that's like $0.74 cents that'll push you over and you can get $3.50 off. So I was like, okay. So I got this Nivea hand cream. It just says Nivea cream. It's just a hand cream. The original skin moisturizing cream helps your skin stay soft and supple. Uh, ideal for daily use for all intensive moisturizing needs. Anyway, it's not that bad of a hand cream for 74 cents and also considering that I got it for free. So not only did I get this basically for free, but I also got a discount or um, like a reduction on the Revlon Color Safe Foundation because she used the coupon. Because I bought these two in a separate transaction from the other stuff, that way um, she could apply this on and then all together I'd buy everything else. And then the last thing that I bought is a NYX retractable lip liner in dark red. Uh, I actually heard Dana Ann or saw Dana Ann mention this in one of her fall tutorials and um, I don't know why. Okay, I said a while ago, I don't even remember in which video, I think it was my lip product addict tag video where I mentioned that I don't need a lot of lip liners. Okay, well if I don't need a lot of lip liners then why am I buying a lot of lip liners? I don't know why. I just I don't it's not like I'm being a hypocrite. It's just that I've noticed like it does make a difference. Ever since I saw that one video with Miss Linda Lin and she was wearing East End Snob with Max Angel on top, I was like wow that looks really pretty and like ever since I've been buying lip liners um, not like up the wazoo or anything, but uh, I definitely increased my 
um, collection by 100% considering I only had two to begin with. So this is uh, the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Dark Red and I bought it because it goes so well with Max Diva, which I have been wearing Max Diva a lot lately because it's such a perfect dark red for the fall time and um, I've just really been liking wearing the dark red colors, although that's not what's on my lips today. Anyway, so those were all of the things that I bought for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything in here that you'd like me to elaborate on or do a separate video about, just let me know. Uh, again, sorry for being MIA and uh, there will be more videos to come. Bye.